So a couple weeks ago, I picked up this 1999 Polaris RMK 700. You guys remember my old 1993 Indy 500? Well, I sold that and then a great deal for an RMK 700 came up. And so I got that, here it is. But before we go and haul it into the shop, the shop is a mess, like look at this. Shop vac, bench is covered, dirt on the floor. I just finished working on that Polaris Magnum 330. And so we're gonna sweep up a little bit. It doesn't look too bad on camera, but it actually is pretty bad. We're gonna sweep it up, vacuum it, get everything ready to go here, get the tools back organized so we can start working on it. The guy I bought it from said it ran, and so he put some gas in it and it started. And uh, so it started up, but it won't run very good. And uh, we realized that the uh, throttle was stuck. So originally he was gonna sell it to me for $700. And it's like the throttle stuck. And he's like, okay, uh, I'll take a hundred bucks off. So he took a hundred dollars off and now I got a good sled for $600. Now there's gonna be a video before this video that will come up that I'll post. And that'll be me riding my old uh, the sled I sold, the uh, 93 Indy 500. I'll post that video. So right now, I'm gonna put it in a time lapse, play some music, and I'm gonna get everything cleaned up and just start working on things, getting it ready to go. All right, we got everything ready, and got the dolly there that we're gonna put the track of the snowmobile on, and then we'll just wheel it in here, pull it in, figure it out. But uh, let's get to that, let's get working on it, and here we go. Alrighty, so this is my 1999 Polaris RMK 700 right here. And it's in pretty good shape. Uh, today we're gonna see if we can get it running. You see that right there? Missing an idler wheel. I gotta fix that, so let's do that. Alright, got it back on the roller. Got the wheel fixed. Now we are going to be working under the hood here. Wow, it is filthy under here. There you go. It's uh, cleaned up a little bit. Bro, look at this. There's like a straight up gap right there. That definitely needs to be fixed. So first thing we'll be doing is pulling the air box on it, but here we go, let's do it. Just got the first carburetor off. It's filthy on the outside. So before I start breaking into the inside, I'm gonna give the outside a really good cleaning, make it look brand new again. All right, now I'm just gonna go straight into uh, cleaning the carburetor. Pretty simple, just remove these bolts and then uh, 
just slowly take everything out, look it over, make sure it's clean, make sure it's good, and then put it back together in the right order. All right, I just pulled out the idle jet right here, and I don't know if you can see through it. You cannot. You can tell that right now, and that's good. This idle jet is clogged, and I'm thankful it is, because that means this could be the problem to, to the machine not running right. So we just finished putting the carburetors back in and filling up the tank again. We didn't fill it up all the way, maybe a little less than a quarter, I would say. But uh, got a fire, fire extinguisher ready, ready to go. See if she'll start. I really hope she runs, because there was, both idle jets were clogged, so that explains it. We'll give her some choke. It's the choke right there. It has a primer, that's pretty nice. Let's uh, pop the hood and make sure that the fuel is on bro look at that hood isn't even broken never been broken still works great let's see uh fuel is off turn that red thing right there it says right there off is that way on is down so we want to make sure it is all the way down right there just like that kill switches up fire extinguisher all right you guys are down on the ground now I think it's idling a little high. I don't think that, that's a problem. We can adjust the uh, air fuel mixture screw. Man, that thing fired up really fast. Let's see if we can get it with one hand. We'll prime it. Two. It's gonna be hard, come on. Man. Oh, no, it's idling right. Oh, dude all right all right so we're back in the shop now it's a new day did a lot of work on my truck today uh replaced the headlights on it you'll probably see the video or uh not video you'll probably see a couple pictures get posted on the um, channel so yeah there's actually a storm rolling in and we got the fire going out there you guys can see that storm rolling in let's see if we can keep that fire going i just have it burning up some scrap wood i have laying around but uh we're gonna get worked on the snowmobile again and uh so we'll just get this snowmobile here, get it ready, get it all good to go, so that when we do get snow, we will have a lot of fun with it. Let's get to the time lapse. Boom, there we go. 
The new windshield is on and it looks great. Look at this thing.